He was a leader and not afraid to put himself in a tough position. Before he was shot and killed Sunday, Overland Park police officer Mike Mosier was on the front lines of a different kind of battle. 41 X News investigator Randy Alcock talked with his family about it. You'll hear from them, but not see them based on their request. In late March, expecting a major pandemic related revenue shortfall, the Overland Park city manager announced he would furlough 200 workers and freeze pay raises for every other worker, including first responders. The first employee to publicly speak out against the decision, FOP President Mike Mosher. Specifically in this late March email, Mosher called on the city to dip into its reserve fund to pay the raises police officers were expecting. Mosher wrote at a time when it was unclear if his job might be on the line for speaking out, any increase in pay would reflect a fraction of those reserves. Mike was the one who was always going to do the right thing regardless of the consequences. Mosher didn't stop there. A few days later on April 3rd, he sent a similar email, this time representing both the police and firefighters unions. He noted those first responders don't have the option of staying home during the pandemic, writing, we are the men and women on the front lines protecting this city and its residents. It was asking for something that was part of the promise that was promised to them. When the scheduled pay raises didn't go forward, a few days later there was a new proposal for hazard pay for first responders. On April 7th, Councilman Paul Lyons questioned the proposal's timing and said first responders' jobs are hazardous by definition. So in the sense that of, of being out and, and dealing with hazardous situations, this is really no different. It may be a little more extreme. Mosier immediately fired back in an email to council members with pictures showing several police officers wearing masks to protect themselves against the virus. Commenting on Lyons' remarks to 41 Action News, Mosher wrote, he's not going into the homes where people have the virus and risking his safety and well-being. It was a disrespectful comment to make. That was Mike. I mean, in like fifth grade, he... He staged a protest because they couldn't have glue in their desks. Mike's mom said he won that protest and another one when he convinced football teammates to walk off because the coach wouldn't give everyone a chance to play. More recently, his dad says Mike accomplished another goal, to have the FOP become more service-oriented. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News. And there's so much more Mosier's family shared with our Andy Alcock, including why being an officer was Mosier's calling. Read about that in this story on KSHP.com.